shoots one. Score! What a tremendous night for him. And the game is over. The series is over. Washington's won the Stanley Cup. Do you believe the celebration going on? They've been injured, they've been banged up, they've been beaten down, yet they have always been able to dig deep and find a character that only Stanley Cup champions have. As you shake hands at the end of a series, you see the players say a few words to each other. Some are ex-teammates, some know each other from growing up, and yet some are just congratulating the winners on an excellent series. The playoff MVP gets the Conn Smythe Trophy, and here is the winner. This is a tremendous award that probably means more in the coming days than it does now. You don't dream of winning the Conn Smythe. You dream of the Stanley Cup. It's often said it's the hardest prize to win because it takes eight weeks. And by tradition, the captain is the first to hold it high. He's often acknowledged to be one of the best captains in all of sport. To be the leader of a championship team is one thing. To be held on a different level as he is, is quite another. There's always interest in how the Stanley Cup has passed, player to player, and they take their victory lap with it. Players are injured, and banged up, yet it doesn't seem to matter how much that 30-pound trophy really weighs. Doug Wayne actually got it over his head once with a dislocated shoulder. You play that hard and that long. You get your names on a trophy, rings on your fingers, and one last photograph, evidence of it all. <laughs>